going to share a story that connects several dots that are rarely connected. And it has to do with farms, phosphorus, and the spreading of liquefied dead people to grow our impossible burgers. Farmers around the world are being crushed with supply chain issues. This has even affected the farmers in Macon, Georgia. The University of Georgia put out a report saying Russia and China won't be exporting as much nitrogen phosphorus this year. They have made the choice to keep the product for their local farmers. This has a direct impact on Georgia farmer Matt Oliver. Cost of fertilizer has more than doubled. Oliver works 3,000 acres of land on his farm in Macon County. Farmers typically work on razor-thin profit margins, so when a key part of the puzzle came with sticker shock, we had to find an alternative. Since we're number one in the state for poultry production, we decided to use chicken excrement to fertilize our crops. But that was last year. Now they can't even get the chicken excrement. The chicken fertilizer, the chicken poop is now in low supply. Morocco controls 73% of all phosphorus produced. Phosphorus is the compacted organic matter translation smushed up dead stuff. Several states have recently made it legal to dispose of human bodies into the municipal water supply, allowing human remains to be added to biosolids sourced fertilizer. You can't make it up. It's called alkaline hydrolysis and it's referred to in pop culture as being very, very green. In alkaline hydrolysis, the human body is liquefied with lye and poured down the sewer. The bio sludge is then collected from municipal water treatment plants and used as fertilizer in factory farms. Now here is the clincher. We are obviously going to have trouble growing food. We have producers of what we need telling us they're not going to give us the phosphorus. Now lo and behold, Gates is becoming the Amazon of our health care. We have the top five richest guy in the world, the guy who pushed forced vaccines, the largest investor in the Impossible Burger, and now the largest farmland owner owning over 300,000 acres of farmland, specifically in states who are pushing this new form of fertilizer. So how does that make you feel? Because his foundation seems to be only gaining traction in our health care. Comment down below. And if you like these segments, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm AG, and I'm...